everybody, welcome back to my channel or to my channel if you're new. Today's video is so exciting because it is fall time and fall time means Halloween time and Halloween time means a DIY easy, cheap Halloween costume video. Also to kind of interrupt me explaining this video real quick, the background probably looks like something you have never seen before. And that's because Garrett and I just moved into a new apartment. So yeah, this is the background that you're probably gonna be seeing for a while. In the bedroom right now, got some fall leaves on the wall because if you have never decorated for fall with putting little fake leaves on the wall, that rhymed, sorry, okay. <laughs> then you should because it just adds so much coziness into your home. So that's your decoration fall tip there. Cora's also here with us. She's there, yep. <laughs> she's been adjusting. Uh, she's finally back to her bratty self, I would say. <laughs> Anyways, the video today, like I said, I'm going to be showing you Halloween costumes. Last year I did a video like this and I had so much fun with it. I have always loved Halloween. Halloween was always a huge holiday for me and my family for a very long time. So I've just always had a little soft spot for it and I love DIY projects and I don't know, it's just all kind of fun for me, this type of video. And especially because I like showing you guys that you can make costumes that are aren't crazy expensive and then itch and just are uncomfortable all night because there are so many costumes out there that cost way too much when you could just go to Goodwill, find some stuff to create a costume and boom, you look great. So all of the items in this video I either already had in my wardrobe, already had from a previous video, already had that I had gotten off of Amazon or I got from Goodwill. So this is very, very cheap and I would recommend always trying to go to some kind of Goodwill or thrift stop, thrift stop, <laughs> thrift shop like that before going on to Amazon, but then Amazon, second place to go. You can find some good stuff on there to complete your costumes. Today, I'm going to have seven, yeah, I said seven, costumes for you to recreate. And this includes a Bachelor contestant, the Tethered from the movie Us, Sabrina from the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina on Netflix, Eleven from the most recent season of Stranger Things on Netflix, Jasmine from Aladdin, the cartoon version more so inspired, an 80s workout slash aerobics person, and lastly, but not least, Billie Eilish from her bad guy music video. So let's go, let's get into these costumes. I am so excited. There are so many fun costumes that you're about to see. The first costume, a Bachelor contestant. last two seasons I've watched so I was like you know what might as well do a costume for this because it's super simple and super easy super last minute if you need basically you're just gonna have to dress in formal attire so formal attire dress suit something nice jumpsuit what I chose was a formal dress kind of cute kind of hot that I have I think it's from forever 21 then of course some formal shoes to go with it heels flats dress shoes I chose some heels that I had hair and makeup obviously if you want to kind of spice it up a little bit uh, add a red lip I don't know I just did some normal makeup, curled my hair, and that was that. But the most important thing to this outfit so it doesn't look like you're just somebody dressed nicely is the rose. For a bachelor contestant, you're gonna want a rose with like a longer stem. So that is what I have today. I think this would be a good costume to go like as a group. You could have all your girlfriends or all your guy friends like in the suits and in the dresses with all your roses. I think that would look pretty cute. And if you really want to go for it even more, you could put a ring on and be like, I got him. He chose me. And then you're totally fine to go. Super easy costume. You probably already have some type of formal attire in your wardrobe. And if not, go hit up Goodwill. The next costume is a little more spooky. It is the Tethered from the movie Us. So 
So if you haven't seen Us for some reason, you should definitely go see it. It is directed by Jordan Peele and it's amazing. So they have kind of doppelgangers of the normal people and they're called the Tethered. You can make this costume a lot harder than it seems. If you're looking for a red jumpsuit, which is what they normally wear, that may be a little hard to find. You may have to go on Amazon to actually find a red jumpsuit, but there's a way around it. This is what's great about DIY and you don't have to be exact. It's just a representation. I went for a red collared long sleeve shirt. I think I found it in the men's section at Goodwill. And then some red pants, which again are from Goodwill. And then for shoes, they wore I think sandals in the movie. I just put on some boots, but I think shoes are just kind of whatever, you're, whatever you're feeling, whatever's comfy for that night. And the most important piece to this outfit, I would say, is a pair of scissors. You can go for the gold scissors that they have in the movie, but I just had some other scissors that I just used, again, more for like representation of what it's supposed to be instead of the exact same thing. It still gives off the same message. And if you wanna go even more full out, you can find one of those gloves that they wear. I think it has like their fingers sticking out, kind of like a leather glove. You wanna do that, you can do that too. The next costume is Sabrina Spellman from The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina on Netflix. I've watched this Netflix series and I really, really like it a lot. It's pretty good. So I thought might as well kind of recreate something representing her. I don't have the blonde hair, so it kind of throws it off. I didn't wear a headband, but that's like her signature thing for most of the show. She stopped wearing it in the next season. I forget, but don't have short blonde hair or the headband. But if you wanna get a wig, if you don't, or if you already have blonde hair, then you are good to go. Getting into the costume though, she mostly wears red and black. So I ended up putting together a red cropped sweater with a collared white shirt under it. I know the color doesn't like stick out super well, but it's still there a little bit. And she does wear various amounts of colors in her outfits on the show. Then I paired it with a black skirt, some tights, and some boots. Also, if you wanted to carry around a black cat, you could do that because of her cat. Or a book, uh, what is that book called? There's a book in the show, Beast, something Beast. I forget what it's called. But if, if you've seen the show, you know what I'm talking about. You would carry that book around too. And that could maybe help people distinguish who you are a little easier. This one is very, very fun. So this costume is Eleven from the latest season of Stranger Things. This season was very, very 80s inspired, which I think kind of helped the trend. Oh, I hate to say that of the 80s right now going on. A lot of 80s style is in. The shirt I ended up finding was very, very hard to find one that was similar to hers, but I got it at Goodwill, so it is possible. You can order her exact shirt, I think, off of Amazon, but if you just find one close enough, people are gonna know who you are. So find a shirt that's maybe similar or get the one off of Amazon. I just found one, again, like I said, a Goodwill. The next thing, just some jean pants. Easy, right? You probably already have jeans in your closet. One of the most important things of this outfit is some blue suspenders. Those are probably one of the things that stand out the most and the yellow scrunchie in her hair. So I think with those two staple pieces, you're pretty good. People are probably gonna know who you are. You could even add like a little, little blood dripping down your nose and then people are really gonna know who you are, especially if you're like this. I really couldn't find what shoes she was wearing in those scenes. I mean, I didn't go back and watch it. Should have done more research. <laughs> Just to help you out, I actually looked at the show after I filmed this and she wears white shoes with this outfit. You're welcome. I was looking up pictures of her outfit from the season, but I don't know what shoes she wore with this outfit. I just put some white ones with it and I think it looks pretty cute. This also would be a really good group costume. You could dress up as the whole Stranger Things squad and go with your squad. This next one is Jasmine from the movie Aladdin, mostly inspired from the cartoon version.
So I know that the remake or live action, not necessarily remake, they call it live action. Aladdin just came out. I didn't see it, which makes me really sad because I really wanted to. I used to love Jasmine, but I'll see it sometime. I know she wears like something similar to the cartoon a little bit, but then I've seen her in that movie in like a purple kind of outfit. So this outfit here for this costume is more so inspired on the cartoon Jasmine, but I thought it would be cool if you wanted to go as Jasmine because maybe you love the movie or you're just thinking, oh my gosh. I should go with Jasmine. Ah. This costume is definitely more inspired by instead of the exact representation. This was probably the hardest to put together and most of them were pretty easy to put together. So, I mean, that says something. It wasn't that hard, but it took some searching. The first thing is of course the top. So she wears like an off the shoulder top, kind of like a crop top. So somehow I was lucky enough to find something that worked at Goodwill. I honestly don't know what I found, but <laughs> some type of shirt or honestly it was lingerie. I don't know, but I turned it into a little crop top. So you could find a crop top that looks like her or a bathing suit top would work as well. Or you could just wear a t-shirt that's the blue tealish color. The pants were what was the most hardest to find. The color was difficult to match to the shirt. I found lots of blue pants, but not the same color as the shirt that I had already bought. But then finally I found a pair of shorts that were very big. So I actually ended up being able to just kind of go in one of the leg holes and fold the other side around. And I just DIY'd myself a skirt. If you are some wizard and can sew, you could could do that too and adjust sizes but for me it just worked out somehow that I was just able to kind of fold it around and make it into a skirt. Then for the accessories in the cartoon she has like a blue headband and I think it has like a gold piece right here. So again at Goodwill I found this blue scarf that matched the colors I had going on pretty well. So I ended up getting it. I ended up cutting off the blue part, wrapped it around my head like a little headband. And then I added a gold circle necklace around my head. I was not kidding about this being very, very DIY. Then for more accessories, I put a little choker on. I also added a little belt that I found at Goodwill. It's not really the gold color. It's kind of more coppery, but it still works for the idea of her having kind of like a gold belt there, a little accessory there. And they last part was shoes. I just ended up pairing this with some nude heels because with the skirt, I just felt like heels went well. If you you have long hair you can do the whole like bubble kind of braid thing that she does but I don't so I just put my hair off to one side to kind of represent Jasmine's hairstyle. Like I said this was probably the hardest one to search for and figure everything out but that's because I didn't get any of this stuff off of Amazon. You could totally do that to make it easier for you to make it more the exact outfit that she wears but I wanted it to be more like inspired by and cheaper and I was able to do that. Okay we have two more costumes left. This next one is the 80s workout slash aerobics person. funny because I'm actually going to be doing a video of my transformation into this pretty much exact outfit because I wore this for one of my dance fitness parties. So you'll see that soon. Like I said earlier, the 80s right now is very in. So I thought might as well create an 80s costume. Last year I did like an 80s workout Barbie. So this year it's more just an 80s workout slash aerobics person, not necessarily Barbie. Pretty much all of this outfit I got from Amazon. They have a lot of 80s stuff, so you can just have fun looking for that. The shirt that came from Amazon was this kind of off the shoulder shirt. Mine is bright green with some pink lips. Then underneath I wore a, it's a bathing suit <laughs> that I got at Goodwill. I kind of wear it like as a leotard kind of thing. Now under that I have some bright pink tights that I got from Amazon. On the hands, little fishnets, again, from Amazon. A pink headband from Amazon. And the last two things of the outfit, pink leg warmers, Amazon, and just some tennis shoes or something like that. So pretty much if you have just some colorful clothes, maybe you have a plain bathing suit or a plain leotard that you could wear, you could pretty much just put this together yourself if you just had those things, some tennis shoes. Otherwise, you can go on Amazon, go to Goodwill, 
figure out the outfit, put it together, and boom. For the hair and makeup, you can go full out, or not as full out. For the dance party I went to, I ended up curling my hair with the tiny curling iron and making it like, whew, huge teased and everything you could do that or you could crimp your hair then for the makeup bright colors alrighty guys we are on the last DIY costume this one is Billie Eilish from her music video bad guy So this one definitely has a special place in my heart because I might have already done a video on transforming into Billie Eilish from her music video, Bad Guy. <laughs> a video of this is already on my channel. If you haven't watched that, I would definitely recommend to go watch that. I kind of recreated her uh, in the music video too with some Photoshop and my dad's help. So go watch that video. It's pretty fun, but I will break it down for you here. In the music video, Bad Guy, the scene that I chose was the scene where she is in the all white outfit. She's got her blue hair, bluish green hair, and a lot of jewelry on, of course. So so what you're going to need is a white t-shirt. I would recommend just going to Goodwill getting a men's t-shirt. I think it's like a collared shirt. Then pairing it with some longer white shorts. Again, at Goodwill I found these. They're men's shorts and they were so big that I had to find a belt and just kind of tie them up but it works. For the shoes in the music video, she just has some white sandals with some white socks. So instead of putting shoes on, <laughs> I just put on white socks. Now the few parts that will really distinguish who you are trying to represent. Lots and lots of necklace jewelry. She has layers of silver jewelry. And then of course, get a few different rings on your finger. The one thing that I ended up buying from Amazon was a blue wig. And I'm really glad I did because it definitely pulls the whole look together. And last but not least, if you wanna put some fake blood running down your nose or all over your face, cause she like smears it all over her face in the video, then do that, make it a little scary. Alrighty guys, so those are all my costumes from this DIY, last minute, cheap, easy <laughs> costume video. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this and hopefully you got some ideas for any Halloween parties or trick-or-treating that you're gonna be doing this year. Or maybe it's not even 2019 when you're watching this. Maybe it's 2020, I don't know. <laughs> That's weird to say. <laughs> Let me know which costume is your favorite. Or if you go as any of these for Halloween, let me know. I would love to know that. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed this video. Follow my social media accounts there at the beginning of this video in the description box below where everything is at It's Kendra Sue. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night, whatever it is where you are right now. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.